Hey, Mr. Ortiz, I'm Ryan. How you doing, Ryan? Hey, good to meet you. I uh, got your online inquiry about the 23 Tundra. Uh, great looking truck. Let me tell you a few things about it. So under the hood, one of the coolest parts on this new 23 Tundra on the Limited, it's got the iForce Max 3.4 liter V6 twin turbo with the hybrid technology. That's going to give you 437 horsepower and 583 foot pounds of torque. A lot of power. All your torque is going to come at 2400 RPM. So low end, you told me you tow a boat every now and then. You've got some kids, you know, you go camping. So the great news is this truck's going to pull what you want it to pull, okay? That being said, the hybrid is going to have an eight-year, 100,000-mile warranty, the hybrid component to it, okay? It recharges on regenerative braking, okay? So you don't have to plug it in at the house. You don't have to worry about that. The actual truck is going to have the remaining of a three-year, 36,000-mile bumper-to-bumper, a five-year, 60,000-mile powertrain. Nice thing about a Toyota, it has a 24-month, 25,000-mile maintenance included as well. So you go down to Toyota, they're going to do your standard maintenance for you, rotate the tires, oil change. If you do need wiper blades, they would cover that as well, okay? Um, another nice feature about this Tundra is the fuel economy. With that hybrid component, you're going to see about 19 in the city, 22 on the highway. Could get better depending on your driving habits, okay? So super nice on the fuel economy. It'll help you out uh, on your wallet. Looking under this hood, Mr. Ortiz, if you notice, it's got black curtains right here, like a black plastic that you can't really see, but it's going to have your crumple zones for safety. You know, the feature to that, uh, you know, that is the feature. The advantage is going to be that it's going to fold like an accordion should you have a head-on collision. Let's hope that doesn't happen, but if you were to have one, it'll crumple up. It's going to absorb that impact, and the benefit to you is it's going to protect you and your family and have less injuries in that accident. You're also going to have your breakaway motor mounts, so that way the motor will fall out should you have a head-on collision. It's not going to end up in your lap, okay? So a lot of people always think this is just sound insulation. Technically, it's not. It's a fire blanket. So should the engine ever catch fire, it's going to help put that fire out, okay? So that's a nice, you know, safety feature for you and the family. You don't have to run out here at the fire extinguisher. Hopefully that will put the fire out for you, okay? Uh, all your regular maintenance fluids are going to be clear reservoirs. So you can see the levels, power braking, your coolant, power steering, all those nice features. You are going to have two air filters here, one for each turbo. So that's the nice part. Uh, coming to the front of the truck, you're going to have active aero, active aero shutters. What that does is that helps your fuel economy. That comes standard on the platinum and higher trim levels, okay? Uh, you're going to get probably... They don't put a number on it, but they estimate it's about a 10% better fuel economy with that technology. Your LED headlamps are built in here, standard on this package. It's gonna give you a wider beam, a brighter beam when you're driving. That way, if you get out in that rural area when you're going camping, you're gonna have a better vision of the road, better protect you and the family. You see a deer coming out from the woods, you're good. A lot of these new trucks no longer have fog lights because the LED headlights are designed to sit a little bit lower and have a better beam in fog. So you're not gonna see a fog light down low. You will see these lights right here, which this is a daytime running light. Some people will call it a fog lamp, but it's more of a daytime running light. Looks nice when the truck is on, it's gonna be an LED light. You're gonna have these right here. They look like vents, right? That's essentially what they are. They're gonna let air in to cool off your brakes on the front of the truck. That way you're gonna get better braking performance, okay? Uh, you're gonna have your front park sensor standard on this truck. That way, if you get close to something, it's going to alert you. It's going to give you a visual alert, and it's also going to give you a beep. So you're going to have a camera here in the front as well. That way, you're going to have the bird's eye camera package on this truck. So nice. not only visual, but you'll get alerted as well, okay? Right. So let's walk around here. We talked about the vents for the brakes that are active. On this truck, the nice part is you said you're towing. Uh, it does have a large 13.9 inch rotor. Uh, the bigger the rotor, the more stopping power for you. That way you're not going to wear those brakes out when you're towing. You'll be able to stop quicker with the kids in the car and the wife. Uh, you're also going to have four wheel disc anti-lock brakes. Therefore, you won't lose control of the vehicle in an emergency situation should you have to slam on those brakes. You're going to have a standard 20 inch wheel on the limited package with a Bridgestone Dueler it's more of an all-terrain tire. It doesn't look necessarily like a huge all-terrain, but it will get you through anything you need it to get through, okay? Um, you are going to have nitro fill. We put nitro fill 
which is nitrogen in the tires on every new and used vehicle here at Atzenhofer, okay? Few benefits to nitrogen is not only does NASCAR use them, but any airplane you fly on will have nitrogen in the tires. It's not gonna fluctuate between hot and cold. So like this morning when it's cold, you're not gonna see your tire pressure light come on. What I like to advise my customers is if you do see that light come on, it's probably a good indication that you do have something in the tire, whether that be a screw, nail, a thorn if you were outside or on the ranch driving around, come in, let us check it. You're also gonna get a one year roadside assistance on that. Uh, up to $200 to reimburse you for a tire should you need your tire replaced, okay? I think you can find a nice benefit in that. Yeah. So you just bring it in here, I'll get you taken care of. If you do nitrogen, or you do need nitrogen, bring it in, I'll get you topped off, okay? Uh, you're gonna have your iForce Max badging. That's just reassuring that, telling everybody you got the big twin turbo hybrid motor in this thing. Oh, yeah. You'll notice right here on the side view mirror, there's a camera that's gonna help you with your bird's eye camera package. That way you're actually gonna have a view of people on the side of you or vehicles here as well, okay? If you notice right here in the top left, you're gonna have your blind spot monitoring indicator. This truck comes standard with BSM, as Toyota calls it. That way if somebody's in your blind spot, you're gonna be alerted, you'll know they're there, you're not gonna change lanes, hit the car, you're gonna keep you and the family safe and avoid any more damages to your truck. You don't need damages, it's a beautiful truck. You're gonna have keyless access. You keep the key in your pocket, you can lock, unlock right here, okay? Hop on in there, Rudy. All right. So the limited package is nice. Go ahead and start it up or get it on. I'll show you the gauge cluster. Might help you get the keys. Just hold on to those, sir. One thing that's gonna be nice about the hybrid motor, after it warms up, it's gonna be a very, very quiet motor. Uh, on your gauge cluster, your infotainment center here, not your infotainment, but your gauge cluster. It's gonna be a 12 inch screen. Your infotainment's gonna be a 14, okay? So both very large screens. You're gonna have a 10 way power driver seat, heated and cooled. You're gonna have your memory seating, power mirrors, all one touch power windows up and down, power mirrors, power folding, okay? You're gonna have your red accent stitching. Toyota is big, they have a bunch of soft touch material in this truck. Everything you touch is gonna be a soft touch material and give it more of a luxurious feel, okay? Uh, right here on the steering wheel, you're gonna have all your standard controls. You're gonna be able to go through your gauge cluster, see your fuel economy, see what you have till empty, look at your trip. You're gonna be able to control your volume and audio change stations. Uh, you will be able to control, this is comes standard with adaptive cruise control. So you'll be able to adjust your gap setting on the vehicle. And we'll go over that later on the test drive. I'll show you how that works. Uh, but it's a nice benefit to where you get to keep your hands on the wheel. You're not gonna have to keep playing with the cruise control. It's gonna slow you up when you come up to a car and then once that car gets out of the way, it will pick you back up to the speed you were traveling, okay? Uh, it's gonna have rain sensing wipers. That's another huge benefit and advantage to you keeping your hands on the wheel and being safe. Starts raining, the wipers are gonna come on automatically. You don't have to take your hands off the wheel, okay? Headlights are gonna be auto. You can put that in auto mode. I'll show you that later on our demonstration drive. That way they will kick on when you're in a dark area. They're basically gonna sense so you don't have to flip back and forth. And then if there's a car approaching you, it will go ahead and kick your high beams off. Just more hands-free driving, or should say, keeping your hand on the steering wheel. Um, if you'll go ahead and step out. Oh, you're gonna have a 12 speaker standard system. This does not have the 14 speaker JBL, but this is a great stereo with 12 speakers, okay? Gonna come standard with your running boards, assist steps. One thing that's nice about the Tundra in the Crew Max, you've got a large back seat. If you'll take a seat back there real quick, you're gonna have ample seating for you and the kids. A lot of, a lot of leg room, you're a tall guy, and you've still got room. Uh, and like I said, you're gonna have that soft touch material everywhere in this truck, and super nice leather, stitched, ventilated, and heated seats, okay? If you wanna step out, I'll show you. So the seat, can lift up, this rear seat can lift up this way, or you can pull a lever and it will fold this way. You're also gonna have fold down armrests and cup holders, okay? In this truck, with it being the hybrid package, you do lose the under seat storage, okay? That's gonna have your extra batteries for that hybrid package under the rear seat. And keep in mind, that's the eight year, 100,000 mile warranty, so do not worry about those batteries. You shouldn't have to mess with them for a long time. If you do have any issues, bring it in, we'll get it taken care of, or you can take it to the Toyota store, okay? 
You'll notice right here, you have a capless. You've got to hit the button inside the truck to pop the cap open on a Toyota. Uh, but you're going to have a capless tank. It's going to be a 32.2 gallon tank, okay? So a very large tank. You're going to get an extended trip in that, especially with that hybrid. Getting 22 miles a gallon with 32 gallons, you're going to have approximately a 700 mile trip in this truck on the highway. So you can drive from here to essentially Lubbock and not have to stop at the gas station. Nice. Pretty nice. You've got your 20 inch wheels again, like we stated earlier, Bridgestone Dueler tires. We talked about the braking capability. Your exhaust exit is going to be here on the left side, not the right side like some of your trucks. You are going to have a built in assist step here to make it easier to get into the truck. Okay. That's going to make it a little bit easier if you're loading something or if your wife's maybe a little bit shorter and she can't reach into the bed, she's going to do that. The Tundras are going to have your LED lights. They're going to have sequ sequential turn signals on them as well. Um, and they are a vertical tail light, not a horizontal. They're going to be brighter on the road at night, okay? People are going to see you from a long ways away. That way they should not come up on you quick, rear end you. These lights are bright at night, okay? It's going to have a power tailgate release from the fob now that we're at the back of the truck. But what I want to show you is that Toyota redesigned this truck here recently. And this is a cool feature. If you're just right here, you simply press this button and it will drop the tailgate. So you simply touch that right there, drops the tailgate. It's not going to be a power up tailgate. You are going to have to lift it up yourself, but it is a very light tailgate. Talking about that, the Tundra is not an aluminum truck. It's a fully galvanized steel truck. So it's going to be a very durable truck, okay? Coming back here, you're going to have your large Tundra stamped in the tailgate. That's new for this year. These lights right here, very cool feature. People think, oh, those are the reverse lights, right? No, Rudy, these are your trailer lights. When you're backing up to a trailer, you can kick these on at night. It's going to make it super easy to back up to that boat of yours. Really? You'll be able to hitch up like that. So at night, you kick these on, boom, you're there. Talking about towing, you're going to have your receiver hitch, okay? This truck is rated to tow 11,380 pounds. So you're going to have plenty of power. So you said your boat weighed about 7,000 pounds. Yep. So you're going to have the capacity and then the power with that twin turbo motor to tow this thing down the road without any issues. Of course, you're going to have your rear park sensors, okay? It's also going to have rear cross traffic alert. That way, if you're backing out of a parking spot, tight spot, you can't see a car coming, it's going to alert you so you can stop. Speaking of that, it has automatic, automatic braking, reverse and forward. So if you were backing out of that parking spot, it picks up a pedestrian or a car coming, the truck's going to stop for you. That way you don't injure anybody or damage your truck any further, okay? The truck is going to come standard with Toyota's bed liner in the truck, so you don't have to put a bed liner in it. You're going to have your LED lighting in the bed, and you're going to have multiple anchor points, okay? You're also going to have a 400 watt plug in the back, which translates to a 120 volt plug, okay? But fill that tailgate there, Rudy, for me. Real easy. Okay. You're going to have your trailer hookups here, standard. So you need to hook up right there, nice and easy, okay? Walking around this side, you will not have that button on the passenger side just to let you know. That button to drop the tailgate is only on the driver's side, okay? Um, we discussed the back seat. This truck does not have it yet, but when you look inside, we'll have a stamp on every door on the tailgate under the hood. Here at Asenhofer, we put assurance theft on the truck, anti-theft. What that's gonna do is gonna give you six years of theft protection, okay? If the truck were to get stolen and not recovered by law enforcement within 30 days, you're gonna get $5,000. $3,000 check to you, you can spend it however you want, and then $2,000 of it's gonna be down payment assistance on another new or used truck here at Adsenhofer, and that's just on top of your insurance. We wanna get you back as a customer, and we wanna make it easier for you to recover from that theft, okay? Right. You can hear the truck just kick back on, now it's going back to the standard motor. It's been running on the hybrid power. So it will do that. Don't be alarmed by it. That's what it's supposed to do. Pretty cool feature. The seat over here is the same. You're not going to have any under seat storage. You will have the hybrid component under the back seat. In the rear, you're going to have air vents for your passengers. You're going to have another uh, USB ports and you're going to have another 400 watt plug back there that people can plug in iPad, laptop, whatever you need. Okay. You do have your child locks here. So if you've got little ones, you can flip that switch. They can't get out. All right. I didn't say earlier, but you do have your built-in turn signal LEDs in the mirror. If you want to have a seat here, I'll go ahead and I'll meet you in the driver's seat.
All right, <clears throat> so we're in this cabin, super comfortable cabin, a lot of leg room, okay? Let's start, like I said, you've got your 14 inch infotainment center here, okay? Mm -hmm. Infotainment center is gonna be great for you. It's gonna have your standard, you can connect a phone by Bluetooth, you're gonna have Android CarPlay, you're gonna have Apple CarPlay, you're also gonna have navigation, it is a subscription based, but if you're gonna use Android or Apple CarPlay, you shouldn't even have to enroll in that. You'll simply just hook your phone up. And speaking of that, you're gonna have wireless charging to where you can put your phone right here. It's gonna perfectly sit right there. You don't have to put your hands on it. And then it'll also hold a second phone to the right of it. Really? It's gonna have room for two phones. If you wanna put your phone there and try it, you can, Ms. Ortiz. Right. Yellow light indicates that it's charging. You just gotta alert that your phone is charging. As you notice, you could probably fit another exact phone there. Nice. Okay. You're gonna have dual climate control, passenger driver, okay? Heated, cooled seats. Uh, you're gonna have another USB port here. You're gonna have your, this button right here. These are big, easy switches to hit. They designed those if you're like out in the field working or camping, you've got gloves on. You can hit that button super easy. Uh, this is gonna be your tow haul. This feature right here is pretty cool. You just hit that button, that's the camera view. It's gonna give you the view of the truck where we're sitting right now and it's gonna continue to spin. A 360 view. It's pretty slick technology they just put in there. You can tap that button that will take it off the screen again. This can be your traction control and then obviously your hazard lights. It's going to have your center mounted shifter here, park, reverse, neutral drive obviously. And then if you were to go to the left, you could drive it like a manual in sport mode. It is a 10 speed automatic transmission, okay? Right. You can change your drive modes here at the dial. You can, and it's going to alert you on your 14 inch screen if you're in sport mode normal or eco, depending on what you're gonna be doing. You wanna go race, put it in sport mode, you're going down the highway, you want fuel economy, hit eco mode, okay? You have another tow haul button here. Your console, of course you have two standard cup holders here. Uh, console is gonna open here. This one does come equipped with a safe, okay? There's a hard mounted safe in here with a combination. You can put your pistol in there, your valuables, high dollar watch, you know, if you're at a hotel or traveling in a parking garage, just put all your expensive items in there, lock it. Nobody's going to be able to access that safe. Right now it's unlocked, but you can see the room that you do have in there. Nice. Okay. You do have a USB and USB-C port in the center console as well, okay? And then they've integrated armrest into each side for driver and passenger. You're going to have home link right here to where you can program your garage at the house. You just simply hit that button, you can get in your garage. If you live in an apartment complex, you can program it to the front gate, hit that, and it'll open the gate and get you right in. So I know you're driving a Chevy right now, so you're familiar with OnStar. This is gonna have some similarities with the Toyota Telematics. You're gonna be able to connect. It's gonna let them know if the airbags deploy, if you get in a crash. If you need turn-by-turn -turn navigation or roadside assistance, you can hit that button. Obviously, if you're involved in an accident, the benefit is it's gonna call itself once the airbags deploy. This truck does have 12 airbags inside the vehicle, okay? Very, very safe truck. You've got your standard glove box here, okay? All right. You're gonna have kind of a hard, that's a carbon fiber look, aluminum trim there, but everything, like I said, is soft touch. You're gonna have your panoramic moonroof in this truck, okay? You're gonna have a full roll down back window in the Toyota. Nice. That's exclusive to Toyota, it's very nice. I know you got two dogs. Yeah. Actually, you got four now, four dogs, you yeah. told me. But you can put the dogs in the back seat. They can hang their head out, get some fresh air. Or Levi, your son, could do it if you yeah, wanted to. Nice. So, and that's going to be power as well, up and down. Pretty cool. This is going to be your sunroof. You just pull that back. And that's going to allow the screen to go back. You can view in the truck, or view out, I should say. And it's just a one touch. And then this button to the right would actually take the sunroof all the way back. Some pretty cool features in this truck. Pretty cool. Um, Automatic parking brake is right there. You just pull it, press it, no more cranking your foot over here or pulling a lever, okay? Like I said, your fuel cap is over here. You'll see that to release the fuel. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> right here, you're gonna have integrated trailer brake controlling and it's gonna alert you right here, you know, of your trailer's disconnected right now. If it were connected, it would show you. Your steering wheel tilt telescoping. So that way you can adjust it to your comfort. Um, what do you say, man? You want to take this thing for a ride and see how it rides? Hell yeah, let's go. All right, let's go. All right. Go, go, you sold me. Ride.